Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. With the introduction of this product to the market, the number seven Future Renew Serum, we now have another skincare item be referred to online as Botox in a bottle. By my reckoning, there are now upwards of like 10 different products that have this title and this claim attributed to them. I did a recent shorts video, which I'm gonna leave a link to up there, where I compared and contrasted my three favorite Botox in a bottle styled product. On the back of that video, lots of you guys said you wanted a little bit more of an in-depth review, looking into like the pros, the cons, the application, so we can work out which is the very best anti-aging serum for including our own skincare routines. Well, this today is that video. So let's sit back, relax, and talk the best Botox in a bottle. Now, before we delve into things, just to let you know that I've linked some timestamps in the description box below. So if you did want to jump to one section of the video over another, be my guest, they're all there for your convenience. And I've also listed out all the products that I'm mentioning in today's video. So if you didn't catch the name, the spelling, don't worry, it's all linked there again in the description box. All I ask for in return is that whilst you're down there exploring everything that there is to explore in that description box, you also give this video a big thumbs up and a like. This is the best way of supporting me as a content creator because the more likes the video gets the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform so from the bottom of my heart thank you all so so much now without further ado let's cut that waffle and jump straight on in so in today's video we're going to compare and contrast three so-called Botox in a bottle serum we've got the OG the product that I think was the original to have this title attached to it the ordinary azure line solution 10% we've then got the indeed labs Sinoxin 2 serum which has gone viral online throughout 2023 then finally, we've got the new entry into the field, which is the Boots Number no. 7 Future Renew Serum. Now, all of these three serums use peptide technology to give you that minimizing of fine lines and wrinkles, that plumping of the skin, and some great long-term anti-aging benefit. They're not all created equal though, I'm going to measure them on three different scores. We're going to first talk about application, how easy is it to use, how good does it feel on the skin. We're then going to talk about price point, how affordable is that? You know, if I'm paying more, I expect to be getting more for that hard earned coin. And then finally, the most important, we're going to talk about performance. We're going to measure each of these three metrics out of 10 for an overall score of 30. So objectively, we can see what is the best Botox in a bottle. Now, I'm going to just caveat very, very quickly that we saw Botox in a bottle. That's a title that's been given to these products, but I really don't think any of them can compete with injectable Botox treatments. You know, if you go for an injectable treatment done under the supervision of a medical professional, you're going to get some pretty game changing results. However, not everybody wants to reach for that sort of invasive treatment. Not everybody can afford it or has access to it. And so these serums do offer really great advanced anti-aging options for people that don't want to go down that Botox route. Also, studies have shown that if you use these and are also using Botox at the same time, it can actually extend the lifespan of your Botox so you can go a little bit longer between each treatment. That's great, saving some of your hard-earned coin. And I know a lot of people that use Botox also use these serums alongside it to kind of maximize the benefits. Now, with all that out of the way, let's delve in straight to what I call like the original holy grail Botox in a bottle, which is the ordinary Azuraline solution. So just one peptide in here, Azuraline, it does what it says on the bottle, and this peptide actually has some recent studies done into it to show just how effective it can be. These studies demonstrated that if you use this consistently twice a day in your skincare routine, over an eight-week period, people noticed a 17% reduction in their fine lines and wrinkles. This is actually pretty good. When you consider the price point, a 17% reduction is definitely going to be noticeable to the naked eye, boosting your skin confidence and smoothing everything out. It's also really flexible. You can slot it anywhere into your skincare routine and you get just a touch of hydration at the same time. This is currently retailing at around £8 here in the UK. Of course, use the links in the description box to find out the exact price wherever in the world you happen to be. But it's one of the most affordable Botox in the bottle serums that you're going to find. So let's first talk about application. So this is a very watery serum. I actually can't show you how it applies because I used all of this. This is just the empty bottle, but it's a much more watery serum than maybe a lot of people are used to. This was the main issue I found with it because it kind of runs everywhere. The best way of using Azure Align is to target it on the areas of dynamic fine lines and wrinkles. It actually prevents some of the movement occurring. So over time, smooths everything out. Because it's so watery, it's quite difficult to actually target it where you need it to be. I got around this by putting, as best I could, a targeted application on, then putting another layer across the whole skin. So you get like that double effect where you need it, and a little touch of that Azure line everywhere. I covered how to maximize the benefits of this product in a video, which I'm going to leave a link to up there. If you want to try this, definitely check that out so you can make sure you're getting maximum bang for your buck. The application 
is fine. It layers well with other products in your skincare routine. No pilling, no balling up. Didn't break me out, but I do find it's just a little bit too watery to really get a precise application. So I'm going to award it a 7 out of 10. By no means a low score, but I definitely think just a slightly thicker viscosity would definitely be beneficial. We then come on to price point. You know what? I just don't think you can argue with the price point of this serum. When you compare it to the results that you're going to get versus what you're paying for it, I think this is such, such a great option. Not everybody has the means to reach for some of the more pricey options on the market, but I always say, just because you can't afford to shop more luxury you're not missing out the drugstore is honestly where it's at for a lot of skincare steps and products and this just genuinely proves it i got some wonderful results for the eight pounds that i paid for this and i think you're definitely getting a lot more than what you're necessarily paying for so i'm going to give this just a straight up 10 out of 10 it's the cheapest of the options that i'm talking through today and if you're on a budget or you just don't want to spend too much on your skincare you can get some wonderful results from the ordinary azure line solution without breaking the bank Finally, let's talk performance. So had you have asked this question six months ago, I'd have probably given it like a 10 out of 10. Again, for the price point, I was getting some great results, but I've tried some of the newer options that I'm gonna come on to later in this video, and I think I just got better performance from them than I did with this. This just has one peptide in it, and I find the best way to maximize your anti-aging performance is to mix it with the Ordinary Matrixel, which is another great option from the Ordinary range. That way you double down on the benefits. I think just using the Azure Align in isolation will limit the overall number of benefits that you're going to see. Definitely noticeable reduction in fine lines and wrinkles and some of those studies have started to back that up. Definitely helps to plump everything out and hydrate and for the price point the performance is great but I do think you can get an enhanced performance if you're willing to pay just a little bit more with some of the products that I'm going to come on to later in the video. So I'm actually going to award this a 7 out of 10 in terms of the performance. So when you add all of that together we're getting a grand total of 24 out of 30. Certainly a wonderful anti-aging serum, but we'll see how it compares and contrasts with the other two options. Now up next, let's talk of this product, which is the Adid Labs Synoxin 2 Serum. This actually has been around longer than the ordinary Azure Align solution, but it's only really started to get a lot of hype around it in the last 12 months. You definitely know that hype is real because when I go into Boots to put some of this on order, it's always sold out. It seems to be sold out online. People are buying this in bucket loads. And I have scoured the market for different links, which again, I've left in the description box below. So if it's out of stock in one place, you might be able to get it in another. So this actually uses a combination of different peptides alongside some silicons and some other great hydrating and beneficial ingredients, meaning it's a much more comprehensive formulation than what you get with the Ordinary Azure Eye Solution but you pay more for that. So it's all about setting off like the cost versus the benefits that you're going to see. Let's start with application. Now I prefer this so, so much than the ordinary. It's just easy to do that pinpoint work. Because it's a gel, you can really target this on the areas where you have those dynamic fine lines and wrinkles and get a really precise application. It, is got, it has got some dimethicone, some silicones in here, but it doesn't ball up and it doesn't pill if you want to use skincare under or on top of it. The formulation in here is is really, really good because anything that has silicones can be beneficial, smooths everything out, gives a real instant and immediate result, but it can ball up. So it's about making sure the formulation minimizes the risk of pilling, and this certainly does. It feels beautiful on the skin and is much more hydrating than the ordinary one. It also acts as a really good primer if you want to put any concealer on top of it. I found that that works really, really well too, just to smooth everything out and make your makeup last just that little bit longer. So I'm honestly going to give, in terms of application, 10 out of 10. I don't think we could ask for any more from this product, which is why it's getting that sky high score. Coming on to price point. So I've recently been purchasing this at £20, though I think the full price is £29.99. There always seems to be an offer or a sale on, certainly here in the UK. So I'm going to base it on its full price point of £29.99, though if you shop around again using those links, you should be able to find it a little bit of a reduced or a little bit of a discount applied. So at £29.99, this is more expensive than the Azure line, absolutely, but you're getting a better application in my view, and I think you get a better range of benefits from it. it get some immediate hydrating, you definitely get a plumping, and you see after a couple of hours that minimizing of fine lines and wrinkles. You have to wait just a couple of hours to see those results come through, but they definitely do. And the technology in here is amazing. I think for the price point, you're definitely getting more than what you're actually paying for, which is why I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Definitely worth it when you consider what you're getting for paying that close to £30 price. Finally, performance. This is just, this is literally 
amazing. I absolutely adore how this works. You get that immediate smoothing, you get that plumping, that hydration. You know, don't forget that under the eye in particular, it can be prone to dehydration, that crepiness. If you use this, it'll hydrate, it locks all of it in, and it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. Sometimes dimethicone infused skincare can feel quite heavy, weigh the skin down. Not with this. It's super lightweight. It dries perfectly matte so you don't have any risk of it looking shiny or greasy and it just delivers. You get those short-term benefits within two hours your skin is noticeably smoother and it's really honestly put one of this on wait two hours go in the mirror and you will notice the difference. I wish I'd done more before and after pictures when I started this. I always forget to do that because I think it's nice to look back and see the results you've got. This is game-changingly good and I absolutely adore it. In terms of the performance I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. I'm knocking one point off because because I, I hate having to wait two hours for the results. They emerge over that time. It's not like on the two hour mark, everything changes. It emerges over that, but I am quite impatient. So one mark knocked off for that, but the technology, the price point, the performance, it, it's all going on in this product. So it's coming in with a grand total of 28 out of 30. So finally, let's come on to this product, the number seven Future Renew Serum. Now, according to Boots, this actually sold 100,000 units on the first day of its launch. People could not get enough of this serum. And I know so many people have bought it. I stood in line to get my hands on this. And I think the line must have been like 40 or 60 people deep. So there was definitely hype around this when it launched. People are calling it a game changer, but I think they're doing so a little bit too early. You know, these sort of serums take a little bit of time to see those long-term results. And I am using it consistently in my current skincare routine. So we can report back to you at that 30 day point. So I'm gonna base this review on my initial impressions, but that could change once I do that 30 day update. Let's talk about the application. Now, I really like this. It glides onto the skin really, well. It's not quite as gel-like as that Synoxin, but it's definitely more viscous than the Azuraline, so you can do some pinpoint targeted work. Boots actually recommend you use this all over the skin rather than in a targeted way, and it does blend so well. It's in this metal container, which actually gives a nice cooling effect to the serum. You could keep it in the fridge if you want to really cool things down. So I think just naturally that cooling does help snatch everything up a little bit, reduce any puffiness and inflammation, and I, I personally really like the application. It is a little dewy. I don't know if that's translating on camera. The other two sink in, no trace left behind. This leaves behind just a little bit of dewiness and shine, which I personally don't mind. I don't like the skin to look deadpan matte, but I'm also aware that not everybody's going to want that. And so in terms of the application, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Works beautifully well, glides on, but I think we need to be mindful that that dewiness is going to be situational. If you like that look to finish the skin, this could be great. If you don't, it's probably going to be a firm pass. In terms of price point, this was $34.99, though I did actually get a £10 off coupon, which I think is available globally. So you can definitely get £10 off this if you're watching this video in the first week of its launch. Um, I, so I actually paid $24.99 for this, which I think, again, is a really fair price point. At full price, it's the most expensive of the three I'm talking about today. Um, and that's where I think with the price point, it's going to score a little bit lower. I don't feel you get the same results, certainly in the immediate term, as with that Synoxin, but you're paying a little bit more. There is some great technology in here and they've done a real robust testing regime to sit behind it to prove how effective it is. The blend of peptides won't be found anywhere else in the skincare world so there's something unique about this which I love to see and they've been really transparent so I think definitely boots are ticking a lot of boxes but in terms of that price point I'm actually going to give it an 8 out of 10. Not a terrible product by any means but I think you know there are some cheaper options that I personally just prefer a little bit more. When it comes to performance instant hydration. I don't think you get that instant plumping the way you do with the Synoxin 2 and I don't think you get that post two hours like wow my face is looking really smoothed out noticeable results. I think this is more of an investment that you're going to have to see the results build over time. It's not a bad thing. I always say that skincare is a marathon not a sprint. <laughs> Invest now for the long-term payoffs but I don't think you get that instant gratification that you get from the other products. So overall I'm going to give its performance an 8 out of 10. A really good performance, you know, it definitely delivers, smooths everything out, hydrates, and I'll update this when I've done my 30-day review, but I don't think I get the same results as what I get with the Synoxin 2, which is why I'm knocking this down just that little bit. So overall, this is scoring 24 out of 30. 
In line with the Azure Align, but I think offering something very different, the Azure Align more instant results, this more long-term investment. But coming through the middle, I think the Synoxin 2 is honestly going to be the best of the best. When it comes to Botox in a bottle, whether you're using it alongside an existing Botox treatment or as your anti-aging serum of choice, the Synoxin 2 wins for me hands down. And I'm really glad I filmed this video because it kind of just confirmed in my mind that the Synoxin 2 is where it's at. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.